Greeting, brethren. Turashimimana muri iki gitondo itubashishije kuba hano imbere yayo. We thank God for we have been gathered here before him. Uh, ndashimimana kuguwa yewe kahunda. I thank God for the program today. And uh, the same yuko ya mushoboje ikanamuyobora buryo hari ibintu bimwe yagiye akomoza aho turi buze nubundi kwiga the way god had let him to even to talk about what i are going to study today dero ni huse le kamite soma byanditswe byera tugiye kwiga turacyakomeje urwandiko rwa petero petero rwandiko rwa mbere yanditse we are continuing to study the first uh, Peter. We are going to be reading in chapter 4. We are going to be reading in chapter 4. We are going to be reading in chapter 4. We are akiri mu mubiri atakigengwa n'irari rya kamere yabantu ahubwo akora iby'Imana ishaka First Peter chapter 4 verse 1 to 2 Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh arm yourselves with the same way of thinking for whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin so as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh no longer for human passions but for the will of God saying let's pray Uwiteka mana ishobora byose ndagushimira muri iki gitondo yuko ari wowe utwicaje hano twicajwe no kumva amagambo yawe ntabwo ari amagambo yacu ndetse nabayanditse saa yabo ahubwo mu abandikaga byanditswe byera babikoraga muri ubwo buryo bashorewe na mwuka wera bandika ibituruka ku mana ari we ari wowe nyirabyo nyine ndagushimye rero mwana uko duhurijwe hano iki gitondo turavanze turi mingere yebyiri mwami harimo abo bacunguye wabyaje amaraso ya gupfa no kuzuka by'umwana wawe bikaba byarabahaye guhagara imbere yawe arabera nabaziranenge nabatagawa bidafuye ku mirimo yabo ariko harimo nabandi mwami ibyo batarabishurirwa batarabihabwa bakirorongutana gitya no hino bagishakisha uburyo imirimo yabo ariyo yabakiza abunga abo nabo mwami bari hano rero ndagusaba kugira ngo ugendere mu mutima wa buri wese uko ubukene bwawo buri bungana mwami uhe ibyukene mwami abera babo ubahe gukomera no gushikama muri uru rugendo mwami bataregeza ubahereze mwami kugira ngo Wongere kuri nyowinga gihango bitanye na wongere guhatana n'ibyaha mwami kuri urugamba turiho duhatana nabyo turasana n'ibyaha mwami uduhe mwami ukoresha ibigwanisho byose waduhaye intwaro za mwuka we kugira ngo tuneshe ibyaha rwose birimburwe hanyuma ndasabira abo ngabo bandi bakiri mu mwijima w'icura burindi ubigishe yuko uko barwana n'ibya kose ntacyo byavura igihe cyose bataramara kuyamanika ngo bemere ko ntacyo bashoboye Kristo abashe kubakiza abahumura amaso maze mwami twese kungukirwa umunsi wa none kubwizina ryawe mu mwana wa Kristo Yesu amen amen gusoma magambo ari muri Petero wa mbere just read the uh, the Verses in chapter 4, first Peter. Peter wa ambere, nishe chaka ni murongo wa ambere, nuwa kabili. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Dwe luka muri Peter wa ambere, nishe chaka tatu murongo wa maku mnyabili na kabili. Last time we studied first Peter chapter 3, verse 22. Ture wa mwurijo, Kristo ali mwurijo gima. We saw the way Christ is at the right hand of God. Uryo Kristo ari uryo bw'Imana ibyo bikamuha isumbe rirenze and Christ being at the right hand of God give him the, the great supremacy ndetse bikamuha no gutwara byarimwe byose and gives him authority to, to have authority over everything 
harimo na benese including his brethren ndetse na bamaraika including also angels uko ibyo bintu byose biri munsi ibirenge bye imana yabishize munsi ibirenge bye because all that is the under his feet imuha kubitwara imaze no kumuha itorero ngo aribere umutwe he gave them uh, he gave the he the authority to have authority over them and also the church to be uh, for him to be the head of the church bityo kuba ari buryo bw'imana cyangwa se buryo bwase twabonye ko eh kuba ari buryo bwase ari kintu gikomeye ndetse gifite icyo gisobanuye cyane kubera kubizera so for Christ being at the right hand of God has a great importance and great meaning to saints ndetse byongera kumugaragaza nk'umwami w'ubugingo bwacu bituma kongera kumwiyegurira kuko afite byose biramukorera byose bimubereyeho kandi byose byaramunemewe ngo bimuheshe ikuzo natwe turi and that helps us understand how God uh, how Jesus Christ has authority over us and everything that is around us ariko nyuma yaho twareye iburyo imana igikoresha imibabaro no no gutunganya abana bayo we also saw how God uses suffering and afflictions as a means of grace so that he can sanctify his people if you think the means of grace in, in afflictions what he called a means of grace in afflictions nabwo tubona uburyo rwose imibabaro abizera abacamo ntabwo ari impacts we also saw how afflictions and suffering that uh, saints encounter are not just uh, there not in vain ahubwo twabonye uburyo ngo ari izindi ntumwa imana yohereza we saw how these these uh, afflictions are the messengers of god kandi zishobora zisohoza gushaka kwayo kumbore zima and they fulfill the will of god towards his elect rero imibabaro ntabwo ari yo kudupfira ubusa naye twabonye uburyo ikwiye kubonwa mu cyubahiro cy'imana ndetse ikwiye kudusunikira kuramya imana cyane so suffering is not in vain but it should push us towards worshiping God. Yoba ngo Paulo atero amagambo abwira abatesalonike ngo mu bibaho byose muhore mushimye atari uko bibaho byose bizahora ari byiza ahubwo yuko nibi bidukuye kubishimye imana. Which is why Paul tells the Thessalonians to always uh, uh, be joyful before God because what we encounter in life is not only good but also includes afflictions. Uyu munsi rero turaza kureba iyo mirongo maze gusoma none uyo mu gice cy'akane murongo wa mirongo ya kwa kabiri So today we are studying chapter 4 verse 1 and 2. Turakomeza mu cyaka cyane ho Petero akomeza kudutungira gatoki kuri Kristo n'imibabaro ye. Where Peter continues to to point the finger to Christ and his suffering. Akomeza kwereka imibabaro ya Kristo showing us the sufferings of Jesus Christ. Kugira ngo tubirebereho bitwigishe uburyo natwe dukwiye kumwigana so that we can see it and and have it as an example to imitate. Mu gice cya gatatu twabonye cyane uburyo Imana cyangwa se muri Petero Imana imwandi ya yandika amagambo yayo mukoresheje yagiye atugaragariza ukuntu dukwiye kwitegereza uburyo Kristo yababajwe akihangana bityo natwe dukwiye kubireberaho tukabireberaho tukihangana Aho in first Peter in the previous verses we saw how Christ suffered and he endured it how also should imitate that and also be enduring you have endured in our sufferings yatubwira ko muke cyaga tatu buryo Kristo ari we muntu wababajwa zirubusa ito Peter tells us how Jesus Christ suffered in vain he suffered for no reason for no cause there was no cause to, to for Christ to suffer kwera ko abaye ari inveyi ngo ntacyo byari bitumare he suffered because there was no reason to suffer they hated me without a cause rero aha petero akomeza kugenda twereka indi gingo ikomeye y'uburyo noneho dukwiye kumwigana mu kwihangana nubwo natwe baba batwangira ubusa nubundi niwo murongo akirimo aracyakomeza ice cyakane ariko aracyakomeje nubundi byo bavugaga muri gatatu in the Peter continues saying how we should be patient and enduring the suffering just be, uh, the way Christ endured the suffering dukwiye kumwigana cyane cyane twihangana ibyo tubabazwa baduhura ubusa we should imitate most importantly uh, as we suffer because there is no reason we are suffering mbese ibyo badushinja bitari kuri impamvu zidafatika so what they are they are they are persecuting us for they are just nonsense 
This is one of the things Peter wrote about mostly, and you can also mention that it is one of the it is the main theme of the first Peter. So you find out from chapter one, this is the main theme that uh, Peter talks about. When you see chapter one, we are after he has said this elect exile that have been in dispersion in Pontus and different parts of the world. So it will continue telling them that in different parts of the world they are in, they are having persecution and afflictions in different ways. So chapter in this you rejoice, though now for a, rit a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. Chapter 2, verse uh, 21 to 24. 21 to 24. First Peter chapter 2 verse 21 and 24 For this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you leaving you an example so that you might follow his in his steps verse 24 He himself bore our sins in his Body on the tree that you might die to sin and live to righteousness by who his wounds you have been healed. First Peter chapter 3 verse 17 to 18 For it is better to suffer for doing good if that should be the will God's will than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. So uh, Peter is continuing pointing his finger to Christ and his suffering telling saints that they have to, to endure the suffering imitating Christ who also endured those sufferings. And they should uh, in, uh, pass in these trials without grumbling. So Christ becomes an example even in our trials and sufferings. So uh, when you look carefully, you see these sufferings, they come outside, from outside. So Peter continues in uh, chapter 4. He continues telling us of this Christ whom we have uh, uh, as an example of being persecuted. Imagine having uh, someone as an example in suffering. Motivational speakers. In the world where people are want some people to motivate them, 
baba babwira kuntu bintu bigiye kumera neza iminsi iri imbere ni myiza kurusha yabanje rimwe na rimwe bikaba hinyuza yiri imbere ikaba mibi kurutaho ariko baba sezeranye ibyiza mu ahazaza they 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 promise people that you have better days ahead eh, more than today but sometimes we find that they are the opposite ariko hanga ha bibiliya ikuvuga ngo none ko Kristo akwiye gufatirwa ngo iki nuba ngo akwiye kuba motivation yo kuba bazwa kwacu but here the bible is telling us that Christ in suffering is the motivation for even our sufferings ko buryo ibi babarunyuramo ukwiye kwitushira maso kuri Kristo mbere na mbere kugira ngo bashe kwica mu neza successful So even if the sufferings that come your way you should put your, your mind in on Christ. Ariko kuri yishuro abaye nkuva gato ku mibabaro itugera witurutse hanze cyangwa si ituzengurutse. But uh, here it has shifted from the, the surrounding sufferings. No no abaye nkuwinjira imbere mu mutima. Then he has entered inside the heart. Mu mitekerereze in our thoughts uburyo ubwaho bakwiye kubamo ubwaho that in our, in our thoughts in our minds there should be a battle ndetse kandi rutoroshye bavandi and the battle that is not even simple nubango arimo eh, aragana ku mutima nyirizina wibyo yababwiye byose mu bice byabanje so he's uh, coming to, to the core of what he was telling them in the previous chapter mu byabanje yavuga ngo ibibabari bagera buturutse inyuma itewe n'abapagani itewe n'abantu babi ariko noneho ari kwinjira imbere mu mutima naho ari mara hasaka kugira ngo ashakishemo ubundi mwanzi rwigishwa wicaye imaho ngaho abantu batari kubona so in the previous verses we telling them of the surrounding sufferings that come from outside but now he's shifting to the to the enemy within who might be in the mind Uongo umwanzi uryamye imbere ni ni mutima wa kamere ni kamere so the, the enemy within is the the, the flesh yeah muri mate ubashije eh ubashije kurwana nuriya ukarwana ruya rugamba rw'imbere ukarutsinda so if you can fight against this flesh the, the battle of the mind and you have victory over it inyuma haba hatunganye rwose so outside it would be okay kuburyo nabakubabaza cyangwa se bakurenganya bagura ko bashingira bagushinja ibyukuri so even those who are, who are causing you to suffer outside they might not find anywhere what is the yini na hari samari yiyi mirongo ibiri nubango uru rugamba rw'imbere mu mutima no mara kurunesho karutsinda inyuma hazaba hatunganye rwose so if you are, you are able, able to, to have victory over the battle of the mind then at the battle outside you will be, be able to have victory over it let us read chapter 4 verse 1 nuko uko kristo yababarejwe mu mubiri mu bari ko namwe mwambara uwo mutima we nk'intwaro uko babarezwa mu mubiri abamaze kureka ibya uko babarezwa mu mubiri abamaze kureka ibya since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh arm yourselves with the same way of thinking for whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin bango ni byo bagushinje ibyagufaka ko mu mutima haratungana so whatever they can even accuse you is not true because even you, your inside is okay niyo mpamvu umutwe w'ikigisho na wise yuko ari ukwambara umutima wa Kristo nk'intwaro yo kureka ibya which is why the title of our sermon today is arming yourselves with the mind of Christ as a means to cease from sin kwambara umutima wa Kristo it is uh, arming yourselves with the mind of Christ nyivuga urugamba rero rw'imbere mu mutima ndashaka ko none twinjira mu madetaye tukareba ngo se ubundi rwo rugamba ruteye rute wa mugani wa wa mugabo wa umu nyamategeko umu mwigisha wa Israeli wabazaga ngo se ngo bishoboka bite ko nasubira mu nda ya mama nkuze cyane nkongera nka bya eh iki na cyumuntu ari basese bishoboka bite kujya mu mimbere mu mutima wa ukarwana n'uwo muntu coming back coming back to the uh, battle of the mind like Nicodemus who asked himself how can someone be born yet is old how can go, he go back to the mother's womb and come back then you can ask yourself how can i have the battle of the mind rero iki ni ikintu gikomeye urugamba rwo mu imbere mu mutima w'umuntu ni urugamba rutoroshye so this battle of the mind is one of the great battles nirwo rero nise kwambara umutima wa Kristo nk'intwaro y'ubureke bya which is what i called arming yourselves with the mind of Christ as a means to cease from sin 
nurugamba rurwanwa umuntu yambaye iyo ndwaro yitwa umutima wa Kristo ni ndwaro this is a battle that you fight when you are arming yourself with the mind of Christ mindset. So when we are talking about the mind of Christ, we are not saying uh, we are just saying the thinking the way Christ thinks. So the, this mind of Christ is the arm, the armor we should be having as a weapon kugira ngo uru rugamba turutsinde this is the weapon we should be having in order to have victory in this battle ndashaka kubasomera king james version gato ya mwumbu buryo ibisobanura iravuga ngo for as much then as christ hath suffered for us in the flesh arm yourselves likewise with the same mind for he that has suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sinning ndashaka muri no jambo bango arm yourselves likewise with the same mind okay nubwango ni wa murongo wa mbere somye nubundi uvuga ngo nkuko Kristo yababarijwe mu mubiri eh mube ariko namwe mwambara umutima we nk'intwaro kuko uwabarizwa mu mubiri abamaze kureka ibyaha King James yavuze yuko ngo uyu muntu ngo akwiyikuba ngo umuntu ngo Christ suffered in the flesh uyu muntu rero mwigana ngo arahamagarirwa ndaza kubisobanura rero jamba ngo arm yourselves with the same mind ndashaka ko turebamo ijambo iri ngiri nyine rivuga yuko iyo abango to arm oneself tango se kwamba kwamba nuko mu kinyarwanda ryitwa kwamba ryine bisanzwe gutyo ariko waba ari kubyumva ko barumva yuko ntabwo ari putono biratanguka ari kwamba rufata ijambo nkayambara i know to arm myself ni bintu bitanduka so here uh, arming yourself is different from putting on something eh hey. It is putting on something but in a different way. Where is the difference then? There is somewhere in the Bible where they say put on Christ. Romans 13. Bereke uburyo bino bino bitandukanye ndetse iri jambo riri kwita ari kwereka neza neza ubusobanuro bw'icyo Petero ari kuvuga which is uh, what is going to tell us uh, the, the, the what Peter wants to talk about Tumina 3:14 Romans 13:14 aravuga ngo ahubwo mwambare umwami Yesu Kristo kandi nimuhurwa mu mibiri yanyu ngo ibone ukwikora ibyo yifuza but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desire. Bango. Paulo nawe ari mara twere ku buryo hari ikintu nubango Kristo none wano ari kugaragara mu mwamba nubango ni abantu bakureba mu mwamba ari wamba ntabwo ugenda wawishye. Ni ikintu shiri nyuma ku buryo umuntu urebye avuga ati uri mu mwamba y'ibantu y'umuntu. So putting on Christ it's something outside when they see you they see that you are you are wearing something they are magarira abaroma kwambara Kristo muri ubwo buryo so uh, Paul calls Romans to put on Christ in that way that people will see when they see us they will see Christ ariko petero abigigiza imbere ho gato none akavuga yuko ari to arm atari putting on so peter continues depending it that is not just putting on but it is arming yourself there is a way of putting on something just to, to wear something but it's also putting on something for security purposes Jitwango am am amant vehicles the, when you see the, the different presidents and officials having the convoy that goes around with them they are called armed vehicles 
Bawashatse kuvuga yuko byitwaje intwaro cyangwa se ugabye ni intwaro bishobora kurwanishwa ku buryo no wabirasaho wenda bikabasha gutoborwa na masasu. So when they are called armed vehicles it means they either have uh, weapons with themselves or they have protection on themselves or they can even fight back when fought. Ibyo nyine byari byenze gabiri armed biri bifite ubwirinzi. So these are armed vehicles meaning they have armors with them. Dero no bango arm ni mpar. So when, when we saw so saying armor it is army it is the weapon to arm no guye mpar we mun gengo eh they were armed ba na bano ba hawe mpar. Kaso so fiti batunze mpar. So arm people have got the weapons to disarm no kuzibango. So when you disarm people you take the weapons away from them. So it is really for kabire. To arm one self rero cyangwa se kwiyambika ibyo bikoresho cyangwa ibyo bikwanisha nukwiyambika nyo kwambara intwaro so when you are arming yourself you are, you are having the weapons with you nico rero turi kubona hano ni bimwe bakunze kwita ngo kwikogenga ndo batari kiyamanda ariko ngira ngo buri muntu wese hano ndacyumva rwango ni 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 gikorwa umuntu akora kugira ngo yi yitegure nyine bitero niba ko nabo so arming yourself is you put on the weapons then you are waiting for anything that can come to have battle with you bayo vuga bagaragaza ko umuntu kwiye kwitegura guhagarara guhangana nibikomeye bimutegereje so when you are arming yourself it means you are ready standing ready to fight against anything that is waiting for you to fight with you Ibero Petero aduhamagarira ngo nukwambara intwaro yitwa umutima wa Yesu Kristo. So here Peter is calling people they to put on the armor which is uh, which we put is the mind of Christ. Cyangwa se kugira imitekerereze imwe ni ya Yesu. Having the same way of thinking like that of Christ Jesus. Same way of thinking. Yes, we are only to be book. Impamvu na yindi bavandi. Nuko Wari imitekereze cyangwa se imyumvire ni ituma ni nyuma mu bigaragara hari gihinduka so the way you think we will determine how you live and act eh no buri cyo character igende kura cyangwa se imico y'umuntu imikorere y'umuntu igende kura no kubera yuko haba habayeho development cyase imitekereze yindi runa so your character and the way you act is depending on how you think ubuje no bona umuntu usiga yitwara kuntu kuno gutandukanye na mbere uzamenye ko mu mitekereze hari ikintu cyahindutse so if you see someone who has changed the character just know that there was also a change in the way we rero bibiri ikunda kubikoresha igihe cyose ihamagara mu Kristo kugira runo ruganga rwo mu mutwe mu mitekereze so the bible always calls a people to have this battle of the mind aba baroma twa dusuturi gusoma 12 haravuga ngo so romans have been reading chapter 12 Ngo nuko ene data ndabinginga kugimba bazizi imana ngo mutangi imibiri yanyu ibi bitambo bizima byera bishimwe ni imana ariko kwikorera kwanyu kwiye kandi ni mwishushanye nabiki gihe ahubwo muhindu cyo rwose mugize imitima mishya kugira ngo mumenye neza iby'imana ishaka ariko byiza bishimwe kandi bitunganye rwose uyu murongo wa kabiri aho dusomere muri Yesu Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 I appeal to you therefore brothers by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God which is your spiritual worship do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God that, that what which is good and acceptable and perfect be transformed by the renewing of your mind Nubango guhindo transformation ili guturuka muri renewal of the mind bili guturuka mu guhindo imitekerereze so you are being transformed by the by the change of the way you think muhindo je kose mugize imitima mishya be conformed uh, by the renewal be transformed by the renewal of your mind there no kwambara iyo mitekerereze so it is uh, arming yourself with this mind wo mutima this mind mona dey was to say wo 
Then you can ask yourself which one. Uwe mutima. Kristo arafu uwe mutima kwa kuchi umamagari ya kwamba. Which mind did Christ have that you are calling me to put on? Umutima mwa Kristo Yesu. Wanu mesuti. How was the mind of Christ? Kwa wala zgo muku. His sufferings. Kwa nisho chambe. Vangu ya rafitu mutima. Wite kuye. Gufesi. Kwa chambe kuhura ni ngora ni. Kukuko ya gomba ganyine kujira kukunye kweji. So about the mind of Christ, the first thing is suffering. Christ was ready to suffer. Christ endured the suffering because of the crown that was set before him. So uh, the, the Bible uh, says that Christ was looking ahead for the 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 the, the, the promised uh, glory and then he was also enduring the suffering just like Isaiah says on verse 12 that uh, he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he has poured out his soul to death and there was an army that transgressors yet he bore the sins of many and make, uh, makes the inter intercession for the transgressor who's seeing that the glory was set before him with the saints this is what Peter said that in the same way just like it happened with Christ it shouldn't leave you uh, it shouldn't leave you uh, without them Johanna chumina gata ama kumyabi tunga visa kwa Johanna chumina gata ama mrongo ama kumyabi the gospel of John 15 verse 20 arafuka mbo Nibuke ijambo nababwiye ndi umugaragu nta rutashebuje niba bandenganyije bandenganyije namwe bazabarenganye John 15:20 Remember the word I said to you a servant is not greater than his master if they persecuted me they will also persecute him Nuko byagendeke Kristo namwe bari ko bibagendeke So if the way it happened to Christ it will also happen to you Aba Hebrai 13 Hebrews 13, 11 to 13. Arafugambo. Koko, inumbi za matungo, izunu tangi mkuru ajane amaraso ya azo ahera kubimonga no yibja. Zitu kuichi kubinyuma yurugo. Nichocha tuye na yesu, ababa nizu kubinyuma yirengo. Kujirango yeshe abanu amaraswechi. Nuko, dusoki. Tumusange inyumayuko. Tukwene kutukwa kuki. Hebrews 13, 11 to 13. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the holy places by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burnt outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore, let us go to him outside the camp and bear the reproach he endured. Vandimye, nubango obundi Kristo, obuko wangu janaga inyabi hama, kuri uja musozi mulika kachama. When they took Christ to Calvary, nubango haria nguhara hana usanzwe, baja kukushugu njibifumi. They would send people who were cast on that hill, Abanu baba karibu fumeme muri society abakuwa ibebe ibebe abii yangu ni shishi kijia ha wose baso kwa kama mumuwa yeye usalimu baka jenda baka juu mumuwa igorobot. So all people are cast, including people with the leprosy, they would be taken in that outside the city. Leo ni na mbaya jaga kuamba ibisa mbuga na nini? So that's where they also crucify or thieves. Leo Kristo ni kitambo amaze kuhindu kichivume kuko kuishi la ibia abia baan. So Christ having been uh, made a curse, 
yagombaga gusohoka mu mudugudu n'ibindi bitambo byose iyo byabaga bimaze gutanga intumbi zabyo ngo zajyaga kujugunywa hanze y'umudugudu Christ having made the cars he had to be taken outside the city like other uh, other sacrifices they would take them outside the city ibyo bikagaragazwa nyine yuko ibitambo byamaze gufa so when the sacrifices are, are done with the, the, the work, they would be taken outside. Christ so the way Christ was taken outside the gates of the city, that is how all those who follow him will be taken. They will be persecuted. So where he, he, he takes the, the, the foot, that's where we should put in. We should follow uh, Christ where he goes, just like Peter said, I will follow you. Where we will go. I, I, I think you are now understanding how I'm uh, arming yourself with the mind of Christ, what, me, what it means. And I believe you are going to be understanding it more and more as we discuss. Romans chapter 6, verse 7. For one who has died has been set free from sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Uh, this, uh, this chapter talks about what we, we see in First Peter chapter 4. There are parallel verses. So after the verses I read, Umonaita Iva Zati was so shut up. Muko Christo Yavas to cook it up. Yachu. I cannot get to queer whoever's cook it up. Yachu. Yeah, you can ask yourself, now the verse we read, if Christ died for us and suffered for our sins, should also should we also suffer for our sins? The sins are yours, therefore you cannot suffer for you. So the, the, the sins are yours and you are even in tragedy because of your sin. So no one can uh, persecute you or make you suffer because of your sin. So the suffering for Christ means that we also should pay Christ by, by suffering. For him. By suffering for him. By suffering for him also. By suffering for him also. Why does suffering for Christ? No, is it doing what he also did for us? The answer is no. Because only the righteous died for the unrighteous once for all, that he might, he might make, be, bring us to God. Therefore, the, the unrighteous cannot die for the righteous. Now, we cannot die for Christ. But we can die because of Him. Where do we see that? We can go to see verses that shows us. Christ, 
kwa hiyo kugira ngo atuyobore ku mana murongo 18 aha muri petero wa First Peter chapter 3 verse 18 Ubwo Kristo yadupfiraga ngo byari kugira ngo tuyobore ku mana When Christ died for us it was for us for him to bring us to God Rero na abaye Therefore not to, we cannot die for him Na mana cyane tumuyobora He does not need God to lead him to him to him to God Na otwa ngeho imibabaro yacu dukwiye kunyuramo ngo nukugira ngo tureke ibya but the suffering we have to, uh, to meet and encounter is for us to cease from sin. No one who ever was going to Janga to Jesekumana, I got to have us go to Janga to Riki Jab. Christ suffered so that he can bring us to God, but for us we suffer so that we can cease from sin. But imagine how Imam Yokova was going to go, Imam Yokova was going to go, Ni Yokova was going to go, Christ, and his Imam. So the reasons of suffering of Christ and of us is not the same. There are, there are different uh, reasons. We mostly see it that he suffered in his body. In the flesh. In the flesh. In the flesh, in the flesh, in the flesh. So suffering in the flesh has different meanings. So in the flesh has appeared three times in two verses. So a in the flesh that we made the first three mention is the, the flesh, the, the nature of Christ. Humanly nature you. The human nature of Jesus Christ. The second uh, uh, place it is mentioned, it is the, the nature of sin that is uh, alive in, some, in a person. So the third place, it is the, the, the current life we live in the world. So therefore Christ since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, the human, the human nature of Christ suffered. Arm yourselves with the same way of thinking for whoever has suffered in the flesh. For whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Whoever you go to the Neza Yuko, Umunuchi Murino, see Ataja Hagarika, Korija, where Akafukan go, Umunfuko Han, when he Christ. Elasmus uh, said that uh, when they say uh, someone who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, Elasmus said this person, because uh, anyone cannot uh, be, have a life of perfect. Sinlessness, therefore, the one mentioned here is Christ because He's the one who has perfect sinlessness. So, whoever suffered in the flesh has sinned from sin, so He said, This is Christ. When you, when you consider the context of the whole Bible and the way Peter continues in his context of the this chapter, it is not true. And an example we read is in chapter 6 of Romans. Romans Dying to sin. Romans 6 7 For one who has died has been, has been set free from sin. Romans 
So this dying is not the dying, the death, death of Christ, and also this dying is not ceasing to breathe. Ahubu kuko nyuma Petero mu murongo wa kabiri akomeza kuvuga ngo ngo no nego ahere ko amari minsi sikaye yaramutseri yapfuye ni amari minsi yene so he continues on um, chapter 4 verse 2 so as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh he, when they say for the rest of the time so if he has just died physically then he cannot have the rest of the days Rero iyo rebye neza usangiye imibabaro yuko ko bubiri itandukanye imibabaro ya Kristo ni imibabaro yacu in nature so uh, the, the, the sufferings of Christ and the sufferings of people are different in are different in nature ariko turahumagarirwa kunyura muri iyo yacu itureba nyine twamaye imitekerereze cyangwa se kwitiza imyumvire n'iri da Kristo yanyuranye mu mibabaro ye we should, but, uh, we, should, we, we should pass in our sufferings with the very mind that Christ had when he was passing in his own. Yeah. Even though the product of suffering is not the same, his, uh, the, 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 the suffering of Christ brought us the forgiveness of sins, it brought us redemption. It brought us eternal life. It brought us forgiveness of sin eternally. Eternally before God. But our suffering will bring us to seizing from sin. That is the product of our sufferings. So this battle is the battle against the flesh so that we don't follow the passions of the flesh. It is fighting against sins in our body so that you can always be like Christ. Chirero ni cho nise kwambara umitekereze ni ya Kristo kugira ngo ubashe kureka ibyaha. Which is what I called uh, arming yourselves with the mind of Christ as a means to cease from sin. But find me no rugamba ko kwirwanya. This is a battle to fight your own yourself. No rugamba ko kwisubira mu tarwana nuri ya muntu tuye mu yowe bimbere. You, you examine yourself and then you have a battle of the mind against the person who always tells you. Uh, uh, Roman chapter 6 verse uh, 16 to 17. Verse 12. Twelve. Twelve. Well, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Sin should not reign in your mortal body. Can you be very safe? Ni kome za kujendi kushuka, ikushuka, ikosha. Kujira ngo usohozi kishaka. Can you join us on this safe? Wauka jamu very ima. This mortal body always uh, wants you to do its passions. It always deceives you, and then for it it will die. But you will be accountable to God. You will go before the judgment of God and be answerable to how you lived your life. Which is why the battle of the mind is one of the, the hard battles to fight because you are fighting yourself within. There is one of the amazing verses in Jeremiah. Jeremiah 17 17 verse 9 
The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? Since ni wa wen kwenye num yomo unomrongi yomo somye ni icho nature is very normal nature. I don't know if what I think about this verse is what you think. Kuwela ko alikutu kila yuko mo umuti ma umu urusha ibi winga. The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. If they ask you who who do you think is deceitful to you? Who is the greatest deceiver? Some most of the people say Satan is the great deceiver. But the Bible is saying the heart, your heart Urusha satani kushuka kukwari muri byose except the devil in the sleeping niyo mpamvu ibitero bituruka inyuma ushobora kubinesha pe you can have victory over the battles coming outside ariko ukasanga mutima wawe wa mwanzi wo mimbere aho kubita hasa mwanzi nisho but you find out that within that the, the, the battle you always lose bujara kutsi you always lose the battle within we rako are stronger because the, 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 the flesh inside is more stronger. Than I was frightened how my heart is deceitful above the devil. And when I see it, I find it true. Because the scriptures are true, even though you understand or not. Therefore, we are called to put on the full armor of God and the mind of Christ so that we can stand without uh, losing. So this flesh will have a battle with you even when you are not with anyone. The battle comes when you are also with people. The flesh, the flesh comes when you are even playing, praying. You start praying and then you, your mind is out. When you read scriptures, you don't even know where you started from. You see it and then you are okay, but you find your mind is, has gone somewhere else. Brethren should stand uh, towards the battle to fight against our we start, we start against the, the flesh where sins are manufactured. Our flesh is the manufacturer of sins. One comes after the other. Which is what Christ called carrying the cross and denying yourself. It is, a, it, is, it, it is killing the last of the flesh. You always crucify them on the cross. On the cross of Jesus Christ. So the very sins that we are fighting with are the very sins that Christ took on the cross with him. It is someone is insane uh, thinking that he's going to fight something that was removed from him. Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 
nuvuga ngo ni wangiye ute ko ibi bintu wabikuye ko kandi nyibibona ni nyine cyo witufu ni igiki mu gihe ibintu bikiri alive even byasubiye gusora niko navuga ni muzi yuko twese abagatirijwe muri Yesu Kristo twabatirijwe no mu rupfu rwe nuko rero ko bumubatizwe umbe ari gusobanura ikintu cyose cyabaye agacengera no mu rupfu no mu mubatizo agacengera hose kugira ngo apere kugundu byaba ari ubusazi kumva mu kintu cyagarutse kandi simpomeza ari kibi nibyo ahita asobanura mu cyo cyakarirwe akabigereranye n'umugabo n'umugore umugabo ngiyo akiriho umugore abatwarwa n'amategeko ye Chapter 6 uh, verse 1 to 2 what shall we say then are we to continue in sin that grace may abound by no means how can we who die to sin still live in it then yeah Paul is asking himself if something died how can we continue then uh, uh, living in it nuko sanga uvuga ngo umugore wawe yarapfuye mu gitondo tugasanga murabana then you are like my wife died but the next morning we see you live with her Ninde wo kuye hagati ya then who died between you and her there is a chim ni bwo busaze bwa mbere bibiri igaragaza so that is one of the insane things that the bible shows niyo nenge kuvuga mu kice cyakare akomeza agaragaza iki gishushanyo cy'urushako uburyo ngo iyo umugabo apfuye umugore abahamwe ku mategeko y'umugabo which is what he continues in chapter 7 that when a, a, a wife dies then umugabo apfuye when the husband dies the wife is free from his law dero bigatuma uwo mugabo uwo mugore ashobora kuba ku wundi mugabo igihe cyose bibaye ngombwa so then uh, uh, that wife when husband dies then that wife can have another husband no nagaye tavuga yuko kuri twe namategeko amategeko ngo yari umugabo wacu kwatwarwaga nubanga umutware wacu yari amategeko so the Bible says that, that our, our authority uh, there was the law. No, no. Kuba mategeko yo mukuva isi yarema kugeza igizashira ntazigera kaho nakanyuguti. Yo ntajya because the law it will always be there. Ndu mugabo we uri itano. So now the, the 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 law is the husband of the people. Itano, umugabo uri itano uri guhora. So he's an itano husband to everyone. So it, it requires that now the wife will be the one to die. So that he can be freed. No, no, And then he is freed from the death. So we as uh, wives, we should die. No, 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 so in the death, then we meet another husband. So in the in, well, that's what uh, Paul continues explaining that in the death I've been baptized. Then we went into death with that new husband. In him. And then he, because he's God, he really was raised. When we are in him. Ariko no nebo no dufite famiye jasha itakirimwe yakera yanje namategeko. No no ari yanje na Kristo. Then you have another family which is different from the first one. I was it was me and the law, but now we have another family the, the church and Christ. Ero wa undi wa mbere nagashobora kurekera mango wantwari umugore. Uko ari umugore wa Ah. So the first husband which is the law is not coming to complain that you took away my husband because I had died. Kanda ya mategeko muri gatanu tuba twamaze kubona uburyo ari ubundi atuma ibyaha byiyongera because you saw in chapter 5 of Romans chapter 5 of Romans five chapter 5 of Romans that the law the law will always increase the sins aho amategeko ari ibyaha ngo biragwira so when law is the sins increase bityo rero uyu muntu akabimbata yibya akubera umugabo wa ramategeko kandi yo ngikabatsiga yibya so someone becomes a slave of sins because the husband is the law bicho urundi ruhande rero ku mugabo mushya biratangaje no busazi butaraboneka kwisi nuko buhari 
uhasanga na ibyaha byageze yo kandi umugabo mushyaza so to a new husband then ari Kristo it is insane to find how now that sins have are bonding with the new husband yo mambo bibilia ya shuminga ko ihamagarira abizera ko ubundi bakwiye kuba muri yisi na mbere yuko bahagukiza ngo byaha bikurwe bakwiye kuba muri yisi bagamije ko bishira so that's why saints are called to live in the world with the intention to cease from sin that sins might be wiped away in them vandimwe uwizera wese akwiye kuba baye kuri nosi agamije kuri muri byaha rwose bigashira Every believer should live with the intention to crucify all his sins to take them away. Bibi rero nibya vuga ngo uwemera kuvira amaraso muri iyo ntambara arasana nibya akayikore akayikomerekeramo ubabarizwa mu mubiri uwica kamere ngo abamaze kureka ibya. So he who fights against the flesh and kills it has ceased from sin. Kandi na ari kuvuga ikizabaho nyuma yo ari kuvuga kiri muri ubuzima ugomba guhangana n'ibyaha ukarimura kimwe bibiri bitatu bine bitanu Kristo akazasanga ubimaze so we are called to always fight have a battle against sins in the flesh that one by one we continue fighting against them killing them until Christ comes back yingi it has been perspective ya bera kuva kera yahoze ariyo mitekereze yabakera ku buryo na wizera wakera wigera ngo wicara ngo aruhuke ba no one is going to go if you have to start shira no believer would say that ah now it seems are so many i'm going to rest from fighting against them to jane ngo akorino bambe rwandiko paulo yanditse kwambe rwa bakorino first corinthians ishe cyake ni murongo 27 chapter 9:27 ahubwo mbabaza umubiri wanje nuko zuburetwa ngo ahari ubwo maze kubwiriza abantu Nanyo kanje naboneka ko ntebe. Verse 27, but I discipline my body and keep it under control lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. Mbabaza umubiri wanje nkuko zuburetwa. I discipline my body putting under slavery. Umubiri ukajya muri bondage mu buretwa. Your body is put under slavery. Uburetwa ko kumvira amategeko kwa y'Imana. The slavery to to the law of God. Ataruko nyera kwigira imbata y'amategeko. Not making yourself a, a, a slave to the law. Ahubwo kubera yuko ugomba kwica cyaha kiri mu mubiri. Because you have to kill sin in your flesh. Ugo mwera kuze ngo be killing sin or sin will be killing you. Which cyaha time was said that you are to preach. Igi utari muri iki cyaha icyacyo kizaba kiri kukwica. Cyo ntabwo kigira karo. When you are not killing sin it will be killing you it does not have breaks. Aba Hebrew 12 verse 4. Aba Hebrew 12 verse 4. Aravuga ni muragera ho mufusha amaraso mu ntambara mu rwana n'ibya mu rwanye bya In your struggle against sin you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. When I was stage yo kumena maraso tukabigwamu kubwo kurwana n'ibya turagira. You have not yet reached to the stage where we shed blood because you're fighting for kunwa. Bibiri ifata icyaha n'icyago ugomba kurwanya wivuye inyuma. The Bible it talks of sin as a great enemy that you have to fight with. Jana bangombo kana bigwamu kasigaga and if you can even die because you are fighting with sin jini na jambo mbibu seku byandi siko byahumezwe n'Imana bitubwira ko umuntu atakwiye kwishuka ko nta cyaha afite the bible says that no one should deceive himself that he has no sin niba urwandi ko kwa Yohana yanditse abantu uwibwira ko nta cyaha afite abayishuka abaye umunyabi nyomo The Bible says in first John that he who says I don't have sin is deceiving himself. Ibyo byanditswe byera bivuga bityo ni nabyo bihindukira mu mirongo yose naberetse yuko umwana w'Imana akwiye kurwana aharanira kureka ibyaha burundu 
Bible kujira Yesu. The very scripture that talks about that is all that a believer, a, 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 a son of God, should live fighting against sin. We can find more words in our reading of Nirvya Habiri Murku. That sins might be wiped, wiped away. Nira Munyu Viseneza, Vuseku, where the Piakurwana Nirvya Hayseza, Avuga, when you want to say, come easy, when I say, it's in that. You should not fight sins with laughing and saying that I'll always have them. No one is in that, it's in the new home. I will not have victory over them as I live. As long as I live, uh, we have sin. Why should I even uh, struggle fighting against sin? I, I let you know that you are not saved if you think that we have Repent now. If you say that now I, I have seen and I will always have them, if I will have to fight against them. And you say that uh, I will not fight against them until Christ comes because we will come with it and then you do, don't do anything about them. And there are other types of sins that you have, and then you have given up on them, and you always are comfortable having no, So you are not saved. Believers, even though they know that it sins will not cease from them. Even though they know that they will be taken away when they are in glory, they fight. They fight as though they want to wipe them away. And they wipe them now. They wanted they might be found without blemish. They cry because they are they are seeing that they are not being wiped away. They have not put away the amas. They, it, it is as if they want to be glorified in this life. They do not sleep where they still have the sins entangled on them. Brother or sister, fight against that last. Uh, fight against the last until it is taken away. That should live your, 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 your life. Uh, stop masturbation. So it requires to die, to fighting them, let you die. Since from stealing, since from stealing as you live, guard your, 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 your tongue that you might not say nonsense. And even uh, dishonorable words. Stop slandering. Slandering and gossiping against people. And you slander them everywhere. Uh, cease from uh, idleness. idleness. Loving the world. And even pride in the other things. Should stop in your life. Now. Do not think that they are going to, to, to get from you when you are buried. Accept to suffer not because of others but for yourself. Fight against your own flesh. And what will come from there? And uh, what show that God commands it before you your death? Umeka. When someone is alive, Nukumrongwa 
Verse 2 says, So, as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh, no longer for human passions, but for the will of God. Are you longing for some time when sins will no longer be in your body, that you are holy and just? Now I'm going to preach perfectionism. I'm not preaching about perfectionism. He wants his children to, uh, to have victory over the last. And they will have it if they continue to obey the Holy Spirit and they continue having this uh, armor which is the mind of Christ. The Bible does not show us any, any Christian in the past who reached that. That does not say that now we should. But we should always fight until our last breath uh, fighting against the flesh.